Hello and welcome to the fourth season of VHS TV News. I'm your host, Ava Meyer, alongside my co-host, Jack Brown. Today we have coverage on Halloween, breast cancer awareness, and the latest fall fashion trends. VHS TV News starts right now. On November 6th, Americans will vote in the 2018 midterm election. One of the many things on the ballot this year for Michigan voters is the governor race. Democrat Gretchen Whitmer and Republican Bill Schuette are running in what seems to be a close race with positions such as Attorney General, Secretary of State, and U.S. Senators also on the ballot. But before votes are cast, it's time for one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. Matthew Teitelbaum interviewed some of our own students to talk about their favorite spooky memories. Word on the street is, it's National Hug a Drummer Day. Excuse me, Ellie. Are you a drummer? What? Are you a drummer? No. Hey, Kevin. Are you a drummer? Oh, uh, I'm not a drummer. Are you a drummer? I wish I was. Chris, I have a question for you. Are you a drummer? No, I'm not. <laughs> hey, Andrew. Yeah. Are you a drummer? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all good drummer day. <laughs> I know that! <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> Can I hug you? <laughs> well, that's actually amazing how you know that. <laughs> I actually knew that. More Word on the Street coming shortly. I'm Drake Nager. Stay tuned. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Chemotherapy, like all other medical treatments, requires lots of funding and extensive research to try and find a cure. Luckily, there are multiple charities out there to help offset the cost of it. But what charities really donate their funds to faculties and hospitals? You're probably thinking of the most well-known breast cancer charity, Susan G. Komen. Although they have raised a substantial amount of money for their research, their company has been heavily criticized due to the excessive overpayment of executives in allowing the business to exploit the color pink for profit. The same goes for foundations such as National Cancer Center, Walker Cancer Research Institute, and the American Breast Cancer Foundation. However, there are many genuine charities that one can donate to if they wish to help those going through the rigid treatment. Some of these charities include the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation, the Rose and the National Breast Cancer Coalition. 
Well, most people enjoy helping charities or donating money to them. They don't actually know what to look for in authentic charities. Before you consider buying pink from big store brands, think about where your money could actually be going. I'm Grace from VHS TV News. Welcome back. On Wednesday, October 10th, Hurricane Michael made landfall in Mexico Beach, Florida. The storm was just shy of Category 5 hurricane strength, with winds at over 155 miles per hour and is now said to be the most powerful storm to hit the continental United States in almost 50 years. Almost 1.5 million people were without power by Thursday night, ranging from Florida to Georgia. The death toll has now risen to 19, with over 1,000 missing persons still unaccounted for. Our thoughts are with the victims of this terrible storm, and we wish them all success in their recovery. Here at BHHS, we know that our counseling staff are vital guides to all students, offering help with everything from college applications to mental health. Let's take a look at our amazing staff. So what did you do last night? Oh, I watched the whole PTO meeting. It was riveting. Really? Yes. Was Charlie there? Yeah, Bloomfield TV. He had a, the entire it on in entirety. Charlie, the whole board. It was it, it was awesome. Oh my gosh, that's great that they. Hey. Can I watch it? Can I see Ms. Gold? Okay, look, we have kids come in all day long. This one, she is the worst. <sighs> yeah, Ms. Gold. Yes. Yeah, sure. Miss Gull, there's a kid here who wants to see you. You know what, I was just getting ready to make some coffee. I didn't do that. Okay, I may or may not have just dropped a $1,000 trophy, but it's their fault for putting it there in the first place. Oh, 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 come on, let's, let's try to figure this out here. Oh, it's the tennis team's trophy. Look, they I do need recognition. Look. No one really cares about the tennis team. We all know that. So they've been in state championships, going on to regionals. I'm not too concerned about the trophy. I've just right. been trying to move into my office and then that thing just came out of nowhere. Look, it's all right. Well, it's what's all right? What are we going to give them then? I don't know. A pep assembly? Excellent. Let's call RJ. Game Club, run by Mr. Bowden, so we can play video games and board games and have a good time. On October 12th, Princess Eugenie, granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth II, married her longtime partner Jack Brooksbank. Brooksbank has no royal affiliations, much like Meghan Markle, who married into the royal family earlier this year. Over three million people tuned in to watch the ceremony. Dozens of stars made the guest list, including Cara Delevingne, Demi Moore, and Naomi Campbell, along with 850 other guests. Princess Eugenie wore a stunning Zach Posen gown, and all the other guests were dressed to impress. And speaking of fashion, BHS TV News' own Noelle Siewek has the scoop on the latest fall fashion trends, followed by the season premiere of Word on the Street. With New York and Paris Fashion Weeks having come to a close for the fall 2018 season, Many new and nostalgic trends paraded their way down the runway. Spotted on city streets everywhere, two styles in particular have caught the eyes of many. Here's the runway rundown. Plaid has always been a fall favorite and this year is no exception. The classic pattern is back and is being used in new and exciting ways. Rather than serving as the foremost part of the outfit, pops of plaid accent the outfit as a whole. Next, making its debut in fall fashion, Animal print is on the prowl and is expected to be the biggest trend this season. Wild spots and stripes are sure to be the statement piece of any outfit and you won't blend in with the herd. 
Besides these two prints, must-have accessories this autumn include black combat boots, chunky jewelry, newsboy hats, and of course, the classic beanie. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the premiere episode of Word on the Street Season 2. I'm Parker Haysha. And I'm Connor Renouche. Word on the Street is, it's Halloween. Yep, it's that time of year where kids dress up as their heroes and go trick or treating. But, here at Word on the Street, we know that dressing up as Batman or Harry Potter is just childish, so we've chosen to focus on something a little more mature. That's right, we're going on our own Halloween adventure. As the BHHS staff, trick or treat. Ho, ho, ho. We truly believe the sincerest form of flattery is imitation. And thank you to all the teachers for being such good sports. That's all for Word on the Street. I'm Parker Haysha. And I'm Connor Renouche. Happy Halloween! And with that, we conclude this year's first episode of BHS TV News. If you have questions or suggestions for us, feel free to send us an email at bhstvnews at bloomfield.org. Tune in to This Week Today for updates on all things extracurricular, and be sure to follow us on Twitter at bhstvnews. Tune in next time for more news around the world, in your state, and in your classroom. I'm Jack Brown. And I'm Ava Meyer. Thank you for watching.